My mouth will proclaim your praise. Come, let us worship Jesus Christ, the King of Kings. Come, let us worship Jesus Christ, the King of Kings. Come, let us ring out our joy to the Lord. Hail the rock who saves us. Let us come into his presence giving thanks. Let us hail him with a song of praise. A mighty God is the Lord, a great King above all gods. In his hands are the depths of the earth, the heights of the mountains are his. <clears throat> to him belongs the sea, for he made it, and the dry land that he shaped by his hands. O oh, come, let us bow and bend low, let us kneel before the God who made us, for he is our God. And we, the people who belong to his pasture, the flock that is led by his hand. Oh, that today you would listen to his voice, Harden not your hearts as at Meribah, as on that day at Massa in the desert, when your forebears put me to the test, when they tried me, though they saw my work. For forty years I wearied of that generation, and I said, their hearts are astray. This people does not know my ways. Then I took an oath in my anger, never shall they enter my rest. Glory to the Father and to the Son, 
and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. Come, let us worship Jesus Christ, the King of Kings. For a little while, lower than the angels, you crowned him with glory and honor. How great is your name, O Lord our God, through all the earth. Your majesty is praised above the heavens. On the lips of children and of babes you have found praise to foil your enemy, to silence the foe and the rebel. When I see the heavens, the work of your hands, the moon and the stars which you arrange, what is man that you should keep him in mind, mortal man that you care for him? Yet you've made him little less than a god. With glory and honor you crowned him. Gave him power over the works of your hand. Put all things under his feet. All of them sheep and cattle. Yes, even the savage beasts. Birds of the air and fish. That they make their way through the waters. How great is your name, O Lord our God, through all the earth. Glory, Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to the God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. For a little while, lower than the angels, you crowned him with glory and honor. Let him who desires accept the gift of life-giving water. O God, you are my God, for you I long, for you my soul is thirsting. My body pines for you, like a dry weary land without water. So I gaze on you in the sanctuary, to see your strength and your glory. For your love is better than mine. My lips will speak your praise. So I will bless you all my life. In your name I will lift up my hands. My soul shall be filled as with a banquet. My mouth shall praise you with joy. On my bed I remember you, on you I muse through the night, for you have been my help. In the shadow of your wings I rejoice, 
My soul clings to you. Your right hand holds me fast. Those who seek to destroy my life shall go down to the depths of the earth. They shall be put into the power of the sword and left as the prey of the jackals. But the king shall rejoice in God All that swear by him shall be blessed, for the mouth of liars shall be silenced. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. Let him who desires accept the gift of my life-giving water. The life was the light of men. Alleluia. <clears throat> the Lord is King, let earth rejoice. Let all the coastlands be glad. Cloud and darkness are his raiment, his throne, justice, and right. A fire prepares his path, it burns up his foes on every side. His lightnings light up the world. The earth trembles at the sight. The mountains melt like wax before the Lord of all the earth. The skies proclaim His justice. All people see His glory. Let those who serve idols be ashamed. Those who boast of their worthless gods. All you spirits worship him. Zion hears and is glad. The people of Judah rejoice because of your judgments, O Lord. For you indeed are the Lord, most high above all the earth, exalted far above all spirits. The Lord loves those who hate evil. He guards the souls of the saints. He sets them free from the wicked. Light shines forth for the just, and joy for the upright of heart. Rejoice, you just in the Lord. Give glory to his holy name. Glory to the Father and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. The life was the light of men. Alleluia. If you knew the gift of God, thus says the Lord, the Redeemer, and the Holy One of Israel, to the one despised, whom the nations abhor, the slave of rulers, when kings see they shall stand up, and princes shall prostrate themselves, because of the Lord who is faithful, the Holy One of Israel, who has chosen you. Thus says the Lord, in the time of favor I answer you. On the day of salvation I help you to restore the land and allot the desolate heritages. 
saying to the prisoners, come out, to those in darkness, show yourselves. Along the ways they shall find pasture, and over their eyes shall their pastures be. They shall not hunger or thirst, nor shall the scorching wind or the sun strike them. For he who pities them leads them, and guides them beside springs of water. I will cut the road through all my mountains, and make my highways level. See, some shall come from afar. Others from the north and the west, and some from the land of Sion. Sing out, O heavens, and rejoice, O earth. Break forth into song, you mountains. For the Lord comforts his people, and shows mercy to his afflicted. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. If you knew the gift of God, I thank you, Father, for you've revealed it to mere children. Alleluia. Oh, praise the Lord, Jerusalem. Zion, praise your God. He has strengthened the bars of your gates. He has blessed the children within you. He established peace on your border. He feeds you with finest wheat. He sends out his word to the earth and swiftly runs his command. He showers on snow white as wool. He scatters o'er frost like ashes. He hurls down hailstones like crumbs. The waters are frozen at his touch. He sends forth his word and it melts them. At the breath of his mouth the waters flow. He makes his word known to Jacob, to Israel his laws and decrees. He has not dealt thus with other nations. He has not taught them his decrees. Hallelujah. Glory to the Father and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. I thank you, Father, for you have revealed it to mere children. the truth in love and grow to the full maturity of Christ the head. Through him the whole body grows and with the proper functioning of the members joined firmly together by each supporting ligament builds itself up in love.
mode five. <coughs> Fecit nos Deo et Patris Urenium, primogenitus mortuorum, et rinceps regnum tere. Alleluia. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, he has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers, and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. Fecit nos Deo et Patris Suorenio, primogenitus mortuorum, et princeps regnum tere. Alleluia. Ate nos Deo, qui es in celis, Sanctifice tu nomen tu, adveniat regnum tu, fiat voluntas tua, sicur in cielo et in terra. Panem nostrum quotidianum, da nobis odie, et dimite nobis debita nostra, Sicud et nos dimitimus debitoribus nostris, et ne nos inducas in tentationem, sed libera nos a malo. Let us pray. Almighty and merciful God, you break the power of evil and make all things new in your Son, Jesus Christ, the King of the universe. May all in heaven and earth proclaim your glory and never cease to praise you. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Glory to the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. May the divine assistance be always with us. And also with our brothers and sisters. O shining star of the church, 
reflect the Father's light. By revealing to us the mystery of the Word, eternal fruit of His bosom, source of all life and all truth. O beloved disciple of the Word made flesh, who at the Last Supper rested your head upon His heart, drawing the secrets of the Father's beloved Son and of the Savior of all. O beloved Son of Mary, who at the cross received the treasure of the heart of Jesus crucified, thus become a witness of His wounded heart, we beseech you, despite our unworthiness, our weaknesses, our infidelities, be our Father, that we may be true sons of the Father, living by his light, and by the art of the wounded heart of the Apostles, under the life-giving guidance of the Spirit Paraclete, in Mary, our Mother of Jesus, and our Mother. Amen.